going to work on this thing today. We are going to try and get working on this thing for Leah. First things first, though, what really bothered me about this car, I don't know if you guys remember, it is freaking pink galore in here. Oh my gosh. So I kind of want to get some of this stuff out in a tight space right now to work, but I'm going to do my best. I've got a bunch of pieces for my old S15. I'm going to throw in here. Let's get jamming. This is going to take me a while. I can't really film because I have nothing to hold my phone, so I guess I'll do a little transformation, see how far we get. This is where we're at right now. We got this under panel off, that steering column thing off, center console. Now we just gotta put everything back. We're doing it though. Here we go. Things have escalated. Jeez. This is way more work than I thought right now in this tight space, it kind of sucks. I decided to change the whole bottom section. I was gonna change the dash out, but uh, it sounds like way too much work, so I'm just changing the bottom section. Changing the deck, so I gotta do some wiring, it seems like, but we're getting there. Jeez, what am I doing, guys? Here we go. We are finally finished, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. It's clean. This is totally my spec. Man, the guy literally had this thing painted all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, you guys saw it. I went ahead and painted the center console this nice chipping coat black because the OEM one was really faded, the one I had extra. But this guy went nuts with the carbon wrap here, replaced that. He had carbon wrap all in here. Got a wheel in here. Replaced this whole bottom section because he decided to paint most of this stuff. So luckily I had all these parts from my old S15. I was going to change the dash out, but Leah said just leave it because it is kind of a big job. So I wasn't too worried. I ended up changing the A-pillars. Boom, boom. Got my old deck in here for my old S15. That's freaking dope because he had some single deck styles just hanging out. These guys were in here for some odd reason. Change that out. I got the cigarette lighter working. I had to rewire that thing up because he was using it for power for the ETC or something. Got that in. Oh man. Got my old floor mats in here. I think it's looking pretty proper, guys. Good old Lambo doors. Sick. We still have a long way to go with Leah's. I think next time, maybe tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and replace this trunk because it has holes in it. We're gonna throw my old silver trunk with the OEM wing on it. I also have an OEM hood that I'm gonna be throwing on this thing. This hood is for Nico. He's gonna put this on his S15, but we still have a ton to do. I have some fenders for this thing. This thing is just terrible. And he tried to cover the side markers, but did a terrible job. So I have wide fenders. What do you guys think? Should we cut up the fresh S15 OEM fenders? I'm not too sure. I think we should leave it but for the omd kit angle kit and everything we need to put front fenders so i'm kind of on the edge about cutting the rear fenders i might just tell you let's go front wide fenders stock rear i don't know let me know what you guys think it's always hard cutting up a stock s15 that's not crashed yet but this thing's ready we've got brand new d-max coils we got subframe collars in there d-max arms tension rod tow rod upper control arm this thing's got full exhaust lsd literally brand new coilovers we still do have a lot of work to do for now this will do i just really wanted to get the interior done you guys gotta check this out freaking graveyard it's so bad i don't please don't do this to your cars guys these parts are getting really rare to find too and they're really expensive so i told nico he can have all this stuff i'm gonna help him paint everything with material paint or whatever they got but at least nico has full interior also he's gonna be using my dash since i wasn't able to put it in this thing that being said i think i'm gonna call it a day We'll see you guys tomorrow. We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. I wonder who it's from. <laughs> you don't know that? Freaking Blues Clues. Comment down below if you guys watch Blues Clues. Come on, classic. Anyways, we're at the yard and I got something that was a bit windy today, so it couldn't really work on the cars, but it was good enough conditions to put some tires on the new wheels for what car Nico? Prius. What? Prius. Prius. Freaking Prius got some wheels. What kind of wheels? Freaking TEs. Let's go. Dang, these things are kind of wrecked. 
I think the, the stickers are like 50 bucks for the bear or something. <laughs> we'll just leave them like that. But yes, we got some TEs for the Prius, some 16 inch TEs. Some old tires off my 15 stock wheels. I figured why not just use them since I have them. Pretty good tread still. Throw these on, a little beefy look. I got these things for a stupid deal. I think I paid 450 bucks for this set. Don't ask me how, I don't even know how. Jeez, baby. Going on. The Prius. <laughs> this reminds me of my old Prius, guys. I bought the same size TEs on my old Prius back in Cali. It's so funny. I mean, it's a Prius, but gotta be looking good everywhere we go. Eh, it's decent. It's better than stock wheels. So I am thinking about putting coilovers on this thing. Comment down below if you guys want to see this thing slammed. The best thing about this is it gets good gas mileage. These wheels are actually lighter than the OEM wheels, so I'm gonna kind of test it and see if we get better gas mileage, but solid. That's it for the night, boys. We didn't get too much done. It is Leah's birthday tomorrow, so I'm gonna cut it early tonight and hang out with her tomorrow, but we'll see you guys real soon. Good old DK. And the crown, which I still haven't done a proper reveal for Leah but I'm pretty sure she passes this parking lot all the time, so she's trying not to look at it, but I haven't had time to do that. Today, I'm gonna take the EK to my warehouse because I don't really drive this thing anymore, and I don't want it sitting out here. I'm just getting dirty. I like this thing to be garaged. I have too many cars right now. This thing has just been sitting. It's time to put this thing back in storage. I'm thinking about posting it for sale, guys. I know it's kind of a stupid thing to do, but I think I'd rather someone else enjoy this car. If it's something that you guys might be interested in buying, go ahead and DM me. We can talk price. I'm not too sure what I'm asking for this thing. I don't even know if I really want to sell it, to be honest with you. For now, it's just a thought. I have to freaking jumpstart it. It's how much I don't drive it. And it's still so dead. Jeez. Well, that was a fail. I gotta go to Nico's and borrow his jumper pack because this one is so dead. I'm gonna go over there thinking about taking an S15 home today, finishing that thing up, and then we'll come grab the EK and head over to the warehouse. So, to Nico's. All right, we're back at the yard. What do we got, Nico? Blue, brand new. <laughs> so the blue has been bugging me, so got some fresh black couplers that I've been wanting to get since I've built this car. So finally swapping those out, doing a couple things here on alignment. Those guys, it is hitting the fender wheel, even though it is all the way hammered out. So I'm gonna do minor adjustments here. So that's about it. Couplers, put this thing on the ground, driving it home today. on but we did notice there is a leak in the manifold gasket and it was smelling like coin so we're just doing some minor checks definitely gonna have to change the manifold gasket it's leaking right there i gotta order a gasket but besides that we should be good all right i guess we're gonna take this thing off the lift bring it out to the flats let's see if the alignment changed at all Alignment is perfect. Luckily, I didn't do anything. Now we just gotta get this air on, and this thing is ready to finally come home. Now we gotta go pick up the EK. Lunch break. That spicy garlic, tartar sauce, salad. Hey, Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, finished. Now to grab the EK. Oh, I gotta drive the car home. S15. All right, we're back. Let's hope this thing starts. Come on. Let's go, baby. Yes. All right, this thing's gonna go. Bad thing's gonna stay for a little while. Oh, who knows? I might keep it, guys, but you already know. Money talks. This thing is freaking amazing. It's an amazing car. If you want it, just hit me up. Like a dream, maybe. We'll see that guy later. We made it to the warehouse, but I forgot my warehouse keys, so this thing's gonna have to sit outside. This is scary. But I got a tracker in there, so try and steal it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't try and steal it. Anyways, time to go pick up another car. Check it out. We got the new whip, boys. I just at the auction. We gotta pick up this thing for a customer. G55. This is my first time in one of these. Let's see how it is. Why does this thing look so old? It is an old model, huh? Ooh, it's AMG. 199,000 kilometers. So many cars at the auction. Never seen this many cars here. It's insane. Look at that. I think it's very sick. All right, well, I gotta take the Prius, chop this thing off, and then we'll hop in this thing. Look at that. JDM AMG. Yeah. This is the smallest freaking road to be driving this huge G wagon. Check this out though, sorry Nico. Okay. I got a shifter here. Nico got a shifter. <laughs> Sick. Look how old school this is with the tape holders. Look at these roads. Jeez. Dang, this thing is pretty old school. Anyways, I don't even know why I'm filming. Let's go home. Oh yeah. It's wet out, but we are finally taking the NSX to Nico's. We're taking the NSX to Nico's. Well, you're not. You're gonna go out to you, mama, huh? Okay. Thank you. I need that. We're gonna go take this thing and rip it apart. This thing is filthy, so I don't really care to drive it in the wet. But we're gonna test fit this aero kit. We've got the brand new aero kit. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. It's been a while since he took the NSX out. I think it's time, boys. Let's get it. See you later. Oh, it's nice to be back in the NSX. It's been a minute. See ya. I don't even know if this thing can actually make it to Nico's. Oh, we are rubbing. Such a useless car. Don't worry. I will make this car useful. <laughs> and I should be able to turn the wheels all the way soon. I think that's just like the fender wells. Oh, it sounds so bad. Jeez. What am I doing? <laughs> you guys are like, what an idiot. Prius looks sick though. Stage is still for sale. And we're off. This thing doesn't drive too bad going straight. Suspension is a bit soft, so I need to do something with that. But overall, I love the NSX. Let's head to Nikos. successfully made it to the yard in one piece. Man, this fitment is its pretty good to be able to make it this far. These tires are a bit chunky, but I do want them chunky, but I think the car is a little bit too low. It's already nicking the fender quite a bit. I don't even know how this is gonna work with the new aero kit. It's not low now, but it's gonna sit about that much lower, so we're gonna have to do something here. Anyways, let's unbox these freaking 10 boxes we have over here, full parts. What's up, boys? We're gonna get these things unpackaged. 
Look at that. We have an aggressive front lip. Some aggressive side skirts. Aggressive hood. It looks pretty crazy, actually. I have no idea how it works. I'm pretty sure it just goes on top of that. I'm not sure. I thought it was all white. It's all this trash black, but it'll do for now until I can get it to go to paint it. I'm gonna try to put this on. Look at that. Obviously, I gotta put the thing on, but you can get a little glimpse of what it's gonna look like. Look at that. I don't know if we have to take off this original piece or just that. I have no idea, but we'll see here in a minute. piece done and this thing fits like a freaking glove oh my gosh Freaking good. Oh my gosh, quality products. Would you take a look at that? Hold on. I think we need to adjust the hood mount. Frick, this thing looks crazy already. All right, now we gotta attempt to take off this OEM side skirt, but I think it's pretty straightforward. I'm kind of scared. Cool. <gasps> oh, I'm pro. so pro. You're so pro. <laughs> First time in the man. <laughs> All right, that's off. There should be screws in here. I don't know, there's no screws in here. What's the point of these holes here? Online, it said take out the screws holding it. Uh, you wanna do one side each? Lift lift this side? I don't know, we're gonna figure out how to do this. We'll, we're gonna lift the rear maybe. You know how to take off? Then go ahead and pop, okay? Then break it. Things just got way more complicated. And you go, I can't read anything. I never went to Japanese school. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. I don't know what you have to do. Check this out. We got a full, I mean, at least they got pictures, but like, okay, we already took that off. We gotta like, oh, wait, you still need the clips, Nico. The clips are what holds it in. All right, anyways, you're gonna yeah. do some yeah. freaking yeah. science. Say your coffin. <laughs> oh, this is turning into a freaking job. We got these like weird spacers we gotta put in here now. <sighs> and we had to like paint these. We have to drill holes. Oh my god. I'm so scared. Okay. Give me a truck. Oh, this is so annoying. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. I have screens that I gotta put in here, little chicken wire stuff, but we gotta paint the kit anyway, so I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. It's getting dark, Nico. All right, we got one side skirt on, kind of. We only got these mounts so far. We still gotta do the inner door mounts. Those guys over it. I'm over it, Nico. Day two, it is freaking pouring rain. Luckily we got a little bit of Shade. Shade? No. Anyways, the rear, we gotta get done today. Last night, we finished up the side skirt. It looks good. The rear, obviously, is missing the low. I already fitted this side up. It's not bolted or anything. It's snapped right on. Look how good that is. You also have to throw this bad boy on, a little diffuser. Should be pretty straightforward, but I'm gonna get this thing up, roll it onto some ramps so I can start jamming. Worst conditions to be working on a car, but I'm so excited. We gotta get this side skirt done too. Let's start jamming.
official boys the nsx is finally kitted i'm exhausted but it came out so good front loop i love the hood i love the skirts everything came together so nice the weather sucks which sucks but man i've never had a kit fit so good the rear spats the little diffuser thing everything so good last thing i gotta do is get arms for this thing to take out all this camber because i don't like that and i want to get it more fitted in the rear i can't handle this freaking finger gap front is nice what do you guys think it's pretty drivable i mean it's not that low let's be honest that's pretty good height side skirts are pretty good height i think we'll be able to drive this a lot more often let me know what you guys think in the comments below I'm on my way home right now, but I wanted to give a little walk around. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking sick. Alright, that's it. We'll see you guys.